<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows, and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I compare the game Silkworm on the Commodore 64, the Amstrad CPC, the Sinclair Spectrum, the Atari ST, and the Commodore Amiga. And I start with the Commodore 64. And you can play uh, either the helicopter or the jeep. And you have it, and if you play it in uh, two-player mode, you have the jeep and uh, the other player has the helicopter. So yeah, I like that simultaneous uh, multiplayer. And these are uh, typical C64 sound effects, which I don't like too much. Really, the uh, sit chip is much more... Uh... Oh, and already game over. Let's have a game with the uh, with deep and a little more volume. Yeah, and I somehow I can shoot up. I'm pretty sure about that. But yeah, not that way. Oh, okay. That was uh, now. I'll have another run with the jeep. Ah, okay. I really don't like the controls with the Jeep. <sighs> Not a big fan of this game and I think I call it a quiz on the Commodore 64 before I break something. Uh, let's continue with the Amstrad version. Okay, back with the Amstrad version. And here's a hair sound. I have to turn off the volume. And this is much easier. Not too bad. Maybe a little on the slow side, but controls are good. Why can I select? Why can I pick it up? Shit. And really, this is pretty easy so far. Much, much easier than on a Commodore 64. I guess this is the end boss of the first level. Okay, it gets quite slow. Yes, it was slow. Okay, second level.
And this is really not that hard. Oiks. Say that and die instantly. And I think the middle level boss is about to form. But you can see it's much easier than the Commodore 64 version. Yes, it's mid level boss. And I almost find it uh, too easy, too slow. Not bad for an Amstrad game, but. That would be a little bit more of a challenge. Is he shooting? Am I just killing uh, his bullets before I can see them or is he just there? And now I got it. Uh, yeah, this was about one frame per minute. And the third level. So really, this is much, much easier than the Commodore 64 version. <clears throat> and I always liked uh, the helicopter more than the Jeep. I really hated the controls. How many ships have I left? One? This is really too easy. It's starting to get boring. And the next mid or end boss. And again, it's the same. Oh, that was quick. And again, one frame per minute. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I think this is my last life. And the next level. And this is getting quite boring. Really. Nothing new. Just slightly different backgrounds. Basically same opponents. Just more of them and the more annoying types. And how is this? What the fuck? Are these upside down? Okay, I'm dead. I won't show the Jeep. It's already quite long. Let's go on to the uh, specky version. Okay, back with the specky version. And I have... Gamston. Start the game. Okay, of course the graphics is quite monochrome. 
but they have quite nice sound effects. <coughs> and the title in music indicates that it's a uh, 128k version. And it's quite fast. Faster than the Amstrad version, definitely. And not as hard as the Commodore 64 version. And again, like the other two versions, it has a two-player mode. And I think it's, it's much more fun in two-player mode. I know it's much more fun in two-player mode. If you find someone who likes to uh, play the Jeep. I hate playing in the Jeep. And the end boss, or mid-level boss, is quite hard. Much harder than we on the abstract. Come on. Die. Flickers as bad as on shit. Flickers as bad on as on the M thread, and and it slow, slows down more. So this is really hard. And I hate the flickering. Really. Made it anyway. No, not, not too bad. Probably a lot better with another player. fan of any of those versions. Ah oh, shit. Okay, that was the Spakey version. Now uh, on to the Atari ST version. Okay, back with the Atari version. Cooling is quite jerky, really. But the game is fast. Really, everything is is quite jerky. Oh. I don't like that. Is that the price you have to pay for being so fast? It's, it's hard to control uh, somehow. Really. Much too jerky. jerkiness makes it really hard to react to something. Ah, shit. Mm -hmm. 
background graphics also not not that good. It has multi-level scrolling, but seriously. It's much too jerky. Ah, come on. Okay, already a game over. Let's continue with the Amiga version. Okay, back with the Amiga version. And uh, this is a version I uh, remember from back then. Oh shit, come on. Graphics looks about the same as on the Atari ST, but it's much, much more fluid, really. It's the exact opposite of the ST version. It's not easy. Shit. Seriously, it's not easy. How many bullets does he take? That's possible. Ah, uh, yeah. And of course, the extra weapon is at the edge of the screen where I can't reach it. Ah, oh, did it. Wow. But this is so much better than all the other versions. And it has a multiplayer uh, mode too, so it gets even better with, an, uh, with a second player. Shit! And this is going to be hard without the option. Okay, that was the Amiga. By far the best version of them all. Whee. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.